So again, thank you so much for coming back and being here. So we do have a couple of questions for you, and we'll start with this. Uh, what, if any, is like your favorite moment of uh, coming to film at such an iconic lot as Warner Brothers for seven seasons? What's that like? All right, it's like coming, I mean, being here today, it's like coming home, for sure. I feel like we, every, we, we say this all the time, seven years later, it's still so exciting to drive through those Warner Brothers gates, like we love this place. Yeah, and just knowing the shows and the movies that were on our stage, I mean, it's insane. Yeah, and I love, I love driving by the Friends stage, because yeah. I love that show. Yeah. But I really do love this lot, I mean, we've got a Starbucks, which is convenient, but there is so much history here, and I don't know, there's just something so special about the environment, and, and everyone's always happy, I feel like. Yeah, so much history, so many iconic movies, and movie stars, and strong female movie stars, like Betty Davis, and Joan Crawford made movies here, and I think it's so great that, that you guys are honoring Pretty Little Liars in this way, that now we're a part of this iconic history. Well, you really are, and I mean, especially when you talk about the history, specifically one of your stages, stage seven, is just chock full of some of the most iconic Hollywood things like Rebel yeah. Without a Cause and Casablanca. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, you're literally a part of the history now, which I think is amazing. Well, I want to say, I forget what episode it was, but My Fair Lady was filmed on one of our stages, and there's a famous chandelier, chandelier that we Bertha, had. Big yeah. Bertha. And well, didn't we use that for, we used it for the black and white episode. Was it the, I think, I think it was, yeah. Yeah, um, which is really so that was really cool. That's such a full circle moment for us. It really does. It's amazing. Uh, okay, so what does it mean to you now to be on this side and knowing that Pretty Little Liars fans can come and see original costumes and props for the first time in person here at Warner Brothers Studio Tour Hollywood? I love props. If I wasn't the show creator, I would be a prop master. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Prop meetings are my favorite. That's probably why they last three hours. And just <laughs> seeing everything here, it's it's so exciting because these are things that were in the show. Like, so look crazy. at that. All oh, the red coat. And that painting. I fight over <laughs> that. Right, I've been looking for this mailbox. I wanted well, to steal uh, this mailbox. Now you know where to find yeah, it. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm sure if anybody could get away with that, it would probably be you, so. Well, I'd share a couple things that, that were mine. Like, originally the dollhouse, which is now part of this exhibit, was my dollhouse at home, and we thought it would be great for A, so the show borrowed it from me, and then I borrowed it back. Now you're borrowing it back from me, so. I just feel like it's kind of crazy, because you know when you go to, like, Planet Hollywood, and you see, like, Michael Jackson's glove, and you're like, sick. And now it's like Emily Field's Barbarella costume. Like it's kind of cool to even have some of our outfits here. And your yellow tank top. Yeah. It's never yeah. gonna go away. Yeah. It'll, that, it'll, never it's haunting go. me. It really is. No, but it is. It, it's really cool to see stuff that was so close to us for so long now be a part of the fans, and and they'll be interact with it the same way we did. Which is, it's such an odd thing to see all of our props out there, and I don't know. I, yeah. Weird. It is. It's, it's, it's really creepy. A's lair, which is very yeah. creepy. It's the dollhouse, that creepy clown mask, and uh, yeah. a shrine to Allison. Yeah, my mom, I remember her coming on set and being like, why did they take out your eyeballs? <laughs> why, 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 why are there X's over those? I don't like it. I'm like, it's not real. Don't worry about it. But I, I loved the way our show went down, and, and I loved our our fans' interaction and how amazing they are. So this, I feel, is like kind of giving it back to them and, and really being able to keep it alive. On that same note, is there something that you would hope that maybe people will take home in terms of the experience of seeing an exhibit as special as this? Not the props. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take the props. I, I think they'll feel even closer. Our fans have been coming to Warner Brothers since season one to, to see our sets and stuff like that. but. But they never got to see something, I, I feel like, up, up close and, and personal like, mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's different when you get to see all the attention to detail and the props, the stylus, everybody had to do with the show. We cared about it so much. And you get to see that when you, you are seeing the different pieces and the accessories with the outfits. It's so much more. Maybe you're not paying attention to it so much when you're watching the show. When you get to see red coat up close and personal, it's kind of cool. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I, I was just going to say our crew worked so hard and they paid so much attention to detail and, and you could tell that they were really passionate about it. So I think what's great about seeing it in person is how how hard they worked and how much they loved us in the show and it just it really showed. So for you guys to be able to see that up close is, is really neat. 
Are you, are you allowed to take pictures in here? Oh, of course. I feel like that selfie opportunities yeah. are pretty There's tremendous. There's a lot of selfie yeah. I hope we start seeing a lot of those yeah. on social media. There will be selfies of plenty, I'm sure. There's going to be hashtags like crazy. Everybody uh, knows just like, we love our fans so much, and we love our fan family, our PLL family. And as the show is ending, I feel like it's so bittersweet for us. So we love this idea of, of keeping the family alive through the summer by coming here. Mm -hmm. So is there, in, in seeing things here, is there a specific prop or a costume or something that kind of brings back that fond memory or like a, a best moment or something like that from your show? I haven't walked around a lot to see all the props, but what I can see is my Barbarella costume. <laughs> and that for me, as Shay, was like the most exciting thing because I got to wear heels the entire episode and I'm such a girly girl. So I was like, ah, I have this custom outfit and I love obviously Barbarella. So for me, this costume was uh, one of my fondest memories. Yeah. It's amazing. I I think my painting behind me <laughs> is one of my favorite things. You need that in your house. So. No, I don't know what I would do with that. I, I wanted to take it, but I was also like, where would I put that in my house that would not seem conceited? I just, I just, I just, I, I love it so much, and they did such a good job. But I love, I think that's probably my favorite, only because it was so fun and so different. And I think we were really the only teen geared show that did a black and white episode. So it really did feel like history and just having a black and white episode and being in the clothes and the makeup and everything was so real. We used lights from that era, like everything was really authentic. So to see it, it just makes me proud. Um, and the photo shoot just made me proud and everything that they did was really inspiring. So it just kind of brings me right back to filming that. And you know, bitchy Allison looking at it all, all strangely, but it really, it really was special. And the fact that we did that was, it really meant a lot to me, and, and I think it really meant a lot to the fans. So I think it's pretty cool that they can see it up close. So all in all, loaded question. Final question is a loaded one, uh, and it might be hard to say, but do you have a favorite moment from filming the duration of Pretty Little Liars? I mean. For me, it'd be like the last scene that we shot all together, I think. Now there's two, there's the actual last scene that we shot together, and then there's the last scene of the episode that we shot, which wasn't our last scene, feel me? Um, but it was really, really difficult. I think, you know, we were begging Marlene to have a silent last episode, because we're like, no one's gonna be able to talk, let's just make this like a silent movie. Uh, I should go with it. But, you know, it was really, really hard. Although I think that that episode for, you know, I, I don't know if I can speak for all of us, but for me it was one of the most special ones because it just was like a full circle. And it's my favorite episode that we've ever shot and I'm so proud of it and I'm just really proud that we even made it through <laughs> shooting. Um, but I would have to say, yeah, that both those scenes. Yeah, I was, I was so emotional. It was also one of my favorite episodes. I was so emotional. And every time I would go through security and they, and they were sad, oh. I, would, I would literally cry every oh, time I would try like, shut up, okay? Yeah. They were sad, we were sad. And, and so it was very special to me for a lot of reasons. Um, I think the pilot as well. I feel like I felt the same way in the pilot as yeah. I did yeah. filming the last episode. So I can't, there's no favorites, but I think as far as amazing memories, um, I think the finale was was very dear to my heart, and because we were all so connected and and we're kind of just cherishing our last moments filming, that it was it was definitely my favorite. I, I think I have two. I always go back to the pilot as just probably, in addition to now the finale, my favorite episode. But there's the scene where, where you're in a body bag. Technically, it wasn't you, right? <laughs> but it's the scene where 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 she, where Emily when the ambulance goes by and you run up and and it's like they found your friend. Where is she? They found her body. She's dead. And then um, the the other crew liars are all coming together. And I always say that's the moment that launched the show because they were so disconnected. But then Arya and Spencer and Hannah all get together, and that's where the the true friendship reunited with these girls and then the scene Shay was talking about it's not the actual ending of the episode the finale episode but it's a very emotional scene where the girls are saying goodbye to each other and and it feels like a total full circle moment I mean, even when you talk about the pilot it's the weirdest thing because like I have perfect memories of all of that it literally feels like yesterday 
it's so crazy from our trailers to our first table read. So when people are like seven seasons, you're like, yeah, I guess. I mean, it's kind of crazy. It went by really, really fast. Yeah. Well, thank you very, very much for being here and doing this with us. Thank you. Let's give it up for Marlene, Shay, Foster.